<laughs> okay. Hello. Just doing the quick test. See how we how we're doing here. Okay. Hello. Test. 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 Okay, so I'm just going to adjust my audio real quick. I'm just going to adjust my audio real quick. I'm just going to adjust my audio real quick. Okay. Test. Okay. Test. 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 Just forty. All right. Test. Okay, I think. I think we're going to be happy with that. Um, for those of you watching post-production, um, um, we, I just have to test the, kind of the delay between my phone camera and the microphone. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of like going in and out with my hand there, that's, uh, that's why. But um, yeah, thank you and welcome to another episode of whose card is it anyways um we're live because that's how we like to keep it we like to keep it live mix for some better improvisation um this time around i did get to doing i get to do a few different things um such as hold on oh there we go we have a new randomizer um, and by we I mean we don't really have anything we're just kind of borrowing it but as you can see here I have a few different lists where we have some scenes um, or sorry we have some moods and some personas some characters and then we have some superheroes and then we have the scenes here um, and what I'll pretty much what I'll do is I'll just randomize it and pick the first one um, and just take on the scene randomly um, until I get games together and I get people uh, who are able to make suggestions on these things so yeah basically I plan on to have planning on having the audience involved but right now as I look at the chat we don't have um, a whole lot of people and you may be you may be saying like oh why would you why would you oh I did the <laughs> infinite thing here um, why would you do that uh, why would you mention how you have no viewers well you see um, that's just how it is so when I get the ball rolling with that and I have some people who are able to instantly provide some like I don't know some characters or scenes um, and I'll start taking those on but for the time being what I'm gonna do is just do it randomly so we'll go ahead with that all right cool so let's begin here um, 
in this episode today, we are going to be opening some Ikoria. Now, I know these are the black theme boosters, and you would be wondering why are you opening these black theme, red theme boosters? Well, I have this bad Larry right here. Um, I have a whole booster box that we're going to go through tonight and kind of improvise the unboxing. So, we're going to get to that, but I am going to start off with these boosters. Um, and basically, me and all of my infinite wisdom, um, not really knowing that these black theme boosters don't really... Uh, <laughs> really give any kind of random value like there's no I don't know you can't randomly draw really good cards from it it's all preset and I didn't know that and they do contain at least one rare mythic card so I don't know if there is somewhere I don't know I just looked it up and people people weren't happy with these um, so that probably means that we may not necessarily be happy with them uh, but we're going to open them, and we're going to find out. Um, so yeah. And as for kind, as for like, so what I usually do after, like, once we take out these theme boosters and we, we do this uh, booster box, um, essentially what I like to do is I like to hang out after the stream and just kind of like organize my cards and go through them and sort them. Um, We'll do that. It depends on kind of the viewership and where we're at with that and like if I want to keep going. Um, I will stream that either the day after like I did last time. Last time I was supposed to also do that but um, I just turned it into a separate stream and hung out and it was pretty cool. It was fun. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just kind of play it by ear. We'll, we'll improvise. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna play these. I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna start start playing these games kind of casually. Like I will roll the randomizer probably midway through the box, or I am um, that part. That part I still haven't quite figured out. So what I'll probably do is probably just spin the randomizer part of the way through opening a pack of cards or something. Um, but let's. Let's just start with these these black booster the or sorry these booster theme packages boxes they're not really boxes I don't know I don't know you tell me um, you tell me what you think also hey there this is me today I probably will always kind of wear a some kind of get get up or something. Uh, I am wearing a purple penguin tie, which is a little bit different than last time. Um, try to change it up. Try to have different ties. I feel like that would get kind of boring if I just wore a black tie all the time or something. Also, just kind of like wearing something funky with something like, I don't know, dressy or whatever. Um, so yeah. Hello. So we're going to go ahead and break into it. Uh, do we do red or black theme? Let's flip a coin. Heads will do red, black will do, or sorry, tails will do black. So, shoot, I just kind of like ruined it for myself. All right, I'm going to flip it again. Now you kind of know what's going to, all right, we'll, we'll go with black first. Um, I guess that was kind of fair. If it's, if it's a weak flip, that's on me. So, let's go ahead and do this. So I've been holding on to this for probably almost two months now actually. Um, or at least a month. What is this? They just... Really? They have you tear it from the top? Why do they have that latch at the top? That's kind of weird and silly. Ooh, but this isn't silly. Look at that full art. Oh my. Alright, so maybe this won't be that bad. Um, I'm already kind of liking it already, even though it seems kind of... I mean, it is prepackaged. Like, I mean, the cards usually come in foil. Although, I guess if you think about it, there's really no difference between this and the booster pack foils, because in, in the wrapping. 
Um, well, sorry, the wrapping is the difference, and also the amount of cards is the, the difference here as well, so... I guess there's a little bit of a difference, but let's see how much more of a difference these are compared to just a normal booster pack. Um, I'm still learning magic, I'm still learning learning the different, like, uh, what's the, like, the rarities and also the different effects. Like, I know what's special about this set is the mutate abilities that you see here. Um, so you see mutate, mutate, and if you do a separate cost, it will activate the effect here. So men menace, whenever this creature mutates, each opponent discards a card. Imagine that. See, that could be like, that could totally be useful. Um, sorry, I'm just making sure that we get a clear image here and everything's dandy. Cool. Can you folks see that? Is that good? I think it wants to be like right there. Cool, yeah, that's good. Alright, so we've got that. That's a black card. We gotta space everything out because it's gonna, we're gonna have some large piles. Alright. Oh, well, actually, this is all gonna be black cards, so I already know which pile this is gonna go in. Um, Whisper Squad. Very cool. Dead weight. Oh, it's a trapped bunny. I guess I'd be dead weight too if I was kind of trapped to a post like that. Uh, Blood curdle. I believe I've seen that printed before. Z Zagoth Mamba. I like it just because it has Mamba in it. I like Mamba. I like the Mamba to the Mambo. Dark Bargain, very nice. Oh man, this is one of my favorite songs. Hell yeah. We have the Blitz Leech. Insatiable Hemophage. I think it's Hemophage. We have another Full Art Cavern Whisperer. I don't know if that's on purpose. Or what, but at least it's not the same card behind it as it was. It was a. Uh, it's not more dead weight. <laughs> Man, that just turned itself into its own joke. Um, so we have Boot Nipper. We have Corpse Churn. Nice. Unbreakable Bonds. We have an Uncommon. Very cool. Lurking Dead Eye. Mutual Destruction. This spell has flash as long as you control permanent with flash. Nice. Serrated Scorpion. I've gotten one of those before. And I think with what when I'm going through all the cards here, um, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the effects. I'm probably gonna save that for when I'm sorting the cards. Um, but if we see some good art, or if we see some good cards, then we'll kinda stop and admire them. But otherwise, we're just gonna keep moving forward here. Unexpected Fangs. I'm pretty sure I've gotten that before too. Grim Dancer. It's an uncommon. Not bad. Gloom Pangolin. Oh man, dude, I love pangolins. I think they're going extinct though. That's a bummer. What a bummer. Easy Prey. Nice. Another Gloom Pangolin. I'd be a Gloomy Pangolin too if I was going extinct. Unlikely Aid. Call of the Death Dweller. Whisper Squad. Do you think that they're just a squad of people that are going, Hey! Hey! Do you know the orders to take this guy out? No, no! No to you! No, I don't know the orders to take this guy out. I was hoping that you did. Oh, no, I don't know. I just I just came here. I can't really hear him because I'm whispering. He's just whispering, so I can't really hear him in the back here. Oh yeah, good point. Um Dude, that'd be awful. <laughs> I bet that sounded awful. I hopefully hopefully that captured my whisper. Oh man. Very cool. Alright, so lurking deadeye. 
again. Also, let me... Hmm. I want to see if I can change the lighting here just because I have a feeling. That's messing with some of the quality. I guess that's kind of better. Okay, so mutual destruction again. We have serrated scorpion again. And we have bushmeat poacher. Okay. Call of the Death Dweller, another uncommon. Easy Prey, another uncommon. Memory Leak. Ah, it doesn't look. That doesn't look too good. Durable, Coil Bug, Bastion of Remembrance, Nethroi, Apex of Death. Ooh, a legendary creature. Now that's not that bad. I'll take it, it's not that bad at all. Cool. Well, that's it for the black deck. And sorry, I'm just going to adjust my camera real quick. Okay. That should be good. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Thanks for bearing with me, folks. Yeah, that looks way better. You can see that so much better. Awesome. I love that. Very cool. All right. And I've got some, got lots of sleeves for this one just because we're going to need them. Again, we're gonna be breaking through 36 booster packs and I cannot wait, because that's it's gonna be a record for us. Um, I've never gone through that many before. So cool. We sleeved that up, I'm using some of the leftover sleeves I got. And yeah, that's, that's it for right now. Short intermission. Oh no, there's the white square there. I think it's cause uh she oh, I think it's cause uh, it used to be that way, but it's no longer that way. I'm gonna add the source again. Yeah, this is what we want. Sorry folks. I know I'm supposed to have this set up. Well, to be fair, it was set up beforehand, but it, oof, yeah, there we go, and then this is like 680, yeah, see, that wasn't too bad, we did it, cool, um, but yeah, just a short interlude here, and then we're gonna open up red. You have a chance. You can see it here. It's pronounced beer, bureaucratic. This isn't beer, obviously, um, but it's beer koozie. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my good pal and artist friend, bureaucratic. If you happen to listen to Chill Hop, you may have heard them before. If you haven't, go check them out. What do you? What are you waiting on? Um, we're waiting on you to open up that red booster. Booster package theme card box. Whatever it is. Um, we're getting to it now, though. Kind of kind of steamed through this one. Oh! No, no, no. We did not get a cardboard cut. Dude, imagine that. Getting a cardboard cut on stream. Do I have to start carrying band-aids for this thing? Do I have to get a... Do I have to get HIPAA certified? Or sorry, OCHA certified? That might be the move here. Cool. Nice, I love the red Ikoria cards. 
hopefully, hopefully, there's some good cards in this. Um, we'll find out. All right. What do we, what do we got here? So we have an uncommon Clash of Titans, Frillscare Mentor, another uncommon. So we get a lot of uncommons I've seen, which is okay. Frenzied Raptor, Flame Spill, ooh, this is a nice full art. I should take out, hold up. I also like that we didn't really get tokens either, which is pretty nice. It's not like the biggest deal, but I don't really care for a lot of my tokens either. Like I only really like the cat tokens. Cool. All right, we got all the full arts. I just gotta make sure that we keep these full arts together because those are gonna get sleeved as well. Ooh, what's this? Yo. That's awesome. It's just a mysterious egg. Put plus one, plus one coming. Huh. I really like that. I don't even know. It's not even like a really... I mean, it must play somewhere in this deck because it's not a fire card, but it must play with the fire cards. Uh, Tent of Collection. I love that kitty. Footfall Crater. A ferocious Tigerilla. Would you look at the Tigerilla there? It's very ferocious. I like to hunt that Tigerilla. Do you speak to the gorillas, Tarzan? Oh, I'm Cliff. Man, I never did like, um, never did like that Cliff guy. He was, uh, he wasn't my cup of tea. I don't think he was anyone, so. Always trying to kill those gorillas. Blister Spit Gremlin. That sounds nasty. Also, this card, these cards feel kind of almost thicker. I'm, I'm sure they're not any different than any of the other cards I got, but I hopefully didn't spoil that for myself. We got a Porky Parrot. That's cool. We have a Pyroceratops. Pyroceratops. Nice. That's kind of a creative name. I like that. I also, it is also just like a, a cool card. Um, Cathartic Reunion. I've also just realized I've had the cards down. This is what happens when we have a little bit of delay. Frill Scare Mentor. Fire Prophecy, we've gotten that before. It's okay, it's okay. Don't mind it. Spell Eater Wolverine. It's pretty cool. Wolverine is such a cool name. Not just because it's an X-Men, but you know, Blazing Folly. We have Flame Spill again. We have another Ferocious Tiger Rilla. And another Fire Prophecy. And we're going to weaponize the monsters and rooting Malak. So rooting Malak. What is that? Is it just like a lizard with no legs? Is that what we're seeing here? Another marmoset, a prickly one. Another sanctuary smashy. Gonna go through the blood. And then another ferocious tigerilla. I need those tigerillas. You need to bring me those tigerillas, Jane. Although I guess he doesn't like, he doesn't really talk like this. He more rather talks like this with a stiff upper lip and slightly deeper. And Tarzan, bring me the gorillas, would you? I think that's more like Cliff. Um, shredded Sails, uh, Lava Serpent, Rumbling Rock Slide, another No Legged Lizard. Uh, we have Raking Claws. And we have Luca Coppercoat Outcast, which I think I have one of these. Um, but as a legendary planeswalker, I'm not gonna say no because it's a pretty good card to have. So overall, we have a lot of repeats of some really common cards. Um, some good common cards though, ones that would really hold up in battle. A lot of strong ones with high counters. So some good repeats. Overall, it's a pretty 
you know, they give you a fighting chance of a deck, which I think is fair enough. I got them for like five. Oh no, was it five? Yeah, it was like five dollars. So for five dollars, that's actually like, or sorry, no, not five dollars, just seven dollars. But even still, seven dollars, that's like a booster pack and a half, if you think about pricing. And a booster pack and a half would only give you like 23 cards. No, 22. So, yeah. That's you easily. Well, 22 or 23, I guess. But either way, I digress. Um, yeah, you you make out pretty well with that. Because that's 35 cards. Um, I got the Legendary Planeswalker, a rare, uh, a few full arts. I got repeats of a bunch of strong cards, like for seven, eight dollars, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good snag. Um, honestly, if you can shop at like CVS or Rite Aid or something like that, that's where I bought these cards. Um, that's where you need to go. Not Amazon, not these other online merchants. Um, if you can go to your local game store, that's like the, you know, that's the move, but yeah. That's what I, uh, that's what I recommend. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and sleep these up. Nice. Look at that. This is really, I like the artwork on this. I think it's mostly just like the green and orange. I don't know what it is about those colors because they kind of contrast, but they do it in like the best of ways, I think. Cool. There we go. We're all sleeved up. I'm gonna put these cards in our own separate pile because we're not gonna include them in the overall pile until after. Man, I got so many pens on my desk. Why do I got so many pens on my desk? Cool. Alright. So, we have this beautiful, beautiful booster booster box here. I'm um, going to rip into it. We're at the 30 minute mark so far. Um, we're going to take a brief intermission before we open this up. So, excuse moi and Hopefully I'll edit this and cut it out. I'm, I'm, I'm unsure how much editing I'm actually going to do with these. Um, I may do more. It really depends on how things work out. I guess it'll work out with the games. I'll let you guys kind of be the judge of that. But anyway, intermission time. BRB. Oh shoot. Y'all are just going to watch me just Yes, I want to remove this window capture. Y'all just gonna watch me do everything on here. And I apologize for that, because I know it's like not what you came here. You're not here to be like, oh, I didn't come to see you modify Spotify. Or maybe you did. Maybe you were just like, oh man. The way this guy just works Spotify is amazing and for that i thank you um but don't please i don't know if you came here to watch me work spotify then i guess hit me up <laughs> you know um but anyway yeah i
<clears throat> cool. So we're back. Um, this whole time, I was I was trying to look for my phone, but I couldn't find my phone because it was still hooked up and streaming. Um, just to show you, it just goes to show how much of a how much of a little bit of a dummy I am there. But cool. All right, so we're gonna break into this little this little box here. Um, then yeah, just really have fun with it. We're gonna have some scenes set up. We're gonna have some characters in emotion set up. Um, we might do the superhero game. We'll see what we do in this box. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and break into it here. There we go. Yeah. I like kind of don't want to damage the box because I want to keep it. As stupid as that sounds. Oh, look at this! This is my first booster box too by the way there's gonna be a lot of firsts on this channel um just gonna throw it out there does it go this way oh yes it does i don't yeah oh and we get the box topper that's right <laughs> yo this is gonna be good um here you have it this This is it. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, I guess I'll do the face cam so you can kind of see the booster box a little bit better. I feel like it's very squished in like that. It's very, very hard to see it. Um, but this is it. Do you see it? Here you have it. Let's uh, let's get on with the show. Cool. So we have thirty-six booster. Oh, you stop! This thing just keeps popping out. Like it's so bad. Um, so we have thirty-six booster packs here. And what I'm gonna do with this is go ahead and throw it against the back here gonna draw from it like you draw a card um, I'm gonna put the booster pack in a safe spot reminds me of the Theros promo pack that we have it's very thin it's probably gonna contain a few good cards I can't wait to open that one I don't know when I'm gonna open that one I'm like s sitting on so much stuff um, but I want to open stuff like super super fast either so all right, here comes the fun part. We're gonna take one more swig. And we're gonna break into it. All right, look at that. Cool, they gave us some tokens. How, how kind. Hold up, we gotta... We're, we're really gonna capture the audio for this one. I have on my Instagram where it says that uh, there's there's booster pack ASMR, so I do have to do my duty and kind of have that have that go down and provide that you know for the for the, the people. So we have Divine Arrow. Like I said, we're gonna kind of speed through this because 36 packs is a lot, and it's already been 40 minutes. Um, Wingfold Petron Frenzied <laughs> Raptor. Look at this. The first pack that we open, we get the same full art that we already got two of. Um, 
but that's not a big deal. I will take as many of those as they will give me. So, thank you, Wizards of the Coast. I um, I do like all the full arts. So, because I'm not gonna say no. I mean, it's like it's a four four full art freaking monster, and it goes with the black the black theme um Ikoria booster package. I still know what to call it. Um, but yeah, it all it all goes together. It's all good. Spring jaw traps. Um, I feel like people are gonna yell at me and be like, "You're going too slow." Rumbling rock slide. Convolute. Mysterious egg again. Yo, that's so cool. I'm so down for it. Pouncing shore shark. Pouncing like, like what? Ivy elemental. Ketria crystal. And a legendary planeswalker in blossom, blossoming sands. That's a oh man, it's so beautiful. I think it's a green first though. But look at this planeswalker. We got a planeswalker on our first, on our first booster pack. That's that's so good. This is gonna be a good one, guys. I I have a really really good feeling about this. Cool. And this is a water first, um, but you're gonna go in the special pile for the sleeves. Cool. Well, that was really good. I am, um, I'm like super stoked for this. Oh, gotta put this booster pack somewhere good. Um, also, since that went so well, you know what? Let's let's start the games. Um, we're gonna start with the gorilla. If you don't know about Ikoria, this is really, like, it's supposed to be off of, like, King Kong and Mothra and all the, all the, um, King Kong and Godzilla, like, yeah, because it's, like, King Kong versus Godzilla, I think is the theme, so it has all those monsters from all those movies. It's kind of an homage to it, which is really cool and a really awesome concept. It's one of the reasons why I got the set, um, because I just really love that concept and the art um a lot of the art in this set is some of my favorite and i also just really love the emblem there's a lot of things that i just love look guys i'm just all about the choreo okay you this may not be the last time you see me do this um anyway what was i gonna do that's right i was gonna celebrate by playing a game um this is our emotions and character list so we're gonna go with that and randomize it you have a split personality and disagree with everything you say cool so that's the character that i got um yeah we're gonna go ahead and have a split personality that disagrees with everything that I say. Um, so do I disagree with that first line? Or do I adopt the split personality and agree with them by adopting the split personality? But I don't know. I think, uh, I don't think I should adopt that split personality. That that sounds like a bad idea. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta open this with the with, with the ASMR. But I don't think we should really subject them to the ASMR. No, we should we should subject them to sweet ASMR. I don't know. We we shouldn't subject them to this ASMR. That's really your spot now. Like, listen, to that. listen. To that. That's. Man, that was a bad idea. I don't know why you just did that to me. No one, no one asked for that. I think people asked for that. People definitely asked for that. Oh, I don't know what this card does. Do you? I don't know what this card does. I should throw it away. I don't think I should throw it away. No, I'm definitely gonna throw it away. All right, let's start going through this. I don't know. Oh, ho, ho. oh. Ho. I don't want to ruin it, but do I want? No, I don't want to ruin that. There's saw something good there. I don't know if you folks caught it, if I revealed it on camera, but there's something good waiting for us. 
Or there's something good waiting for us, yeah. Okay. Now I'm kind of excited. Cause this is the this is the only this is yeah, this is only the second um booster pack that we've we've gone through. Okay. Checkpoint officer. I don't think it's that good. But it may be good. I think it could be good. We might throw it in my deck. I think you'd be a fool if you threw it in your deck, but you do that. Well, maybe if you just controlled everything I did, then can we just have it your way? Well, maybe we should have it my way, huh? Man, my other personality is so mean. So we have go for blood, fully grown. It's kind of cool, I'm digging it. But I don't know if I'm really digging it. I don't think it's that good. Man, you don't think anything's good. Unlikely aid, sleeper dart. Convolute sounds like somebody else I know. What are you what are you saying about me? About who? About me? Oh my. Unexpected fangs? Ah uh, it's kind of expected if you think about it. No, it's it's definitely unexpected. What are you what are you talking about? Essence symbiote? Okay. Ooh, look at this. This is really cool. Look at that art. Look at it. That is so cool. I don't think it's that cool. Jubilant Skybonder. Okay, I can, I can drive with that. No, you can't stop that. Flame spill. Okay. Sea dash or octopus. I've gotten this one before. This one's okay. And then look at this land. Oh. Look at that. That. It's a full art foil land. That is. Oh, and there's another card. Tranquil. Oh, we got two lands. Look at that. That one is an instant sleeve. Man. I... Oh, shoot. I'm trying to be very careful. I'm, like, doing everything but that. That one is super cool. Second... Second pack. A Planeswalker and then a full art foil land. Man. We... We are just killing it. This is going in like a favorite secret super pile. I have so many piles, but like that one takes the cake. Cool. Super down with that, man. checking on something man cool all right cool got to ever advertise here all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to randomize this again. We're gonna pick a new scene, pick up a new pack. Sincere. Oh, uh, let's do something more exciting. Temperamental actor having to do retakes. Okay, we can uh, we can be a temperamental actor having to do retakes. That sounds like a fun time. Okay. So we're gonna go for a third pack here. Our third take, if you will. So sick hearing the word take. Oh, gosh. Gonna 
open this. Oh, we got it on the first take. Oh, but I for I forgot the ASM. Oh, oh God. All right, let's try this again. Take two. Oh, I. It's not the same. It, it's. Oh, I ruined. We can't do the ASMR take. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Never get it right. Duh. Cool. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to move forward without the ASMR. So, cathartic reunion. Did I say that? Ugh. Cathartic reunion. How many takes is this gonna take? Take, take, take. Divine arrow. I wonder how many takes it took them to make that. Probably not as many as I have to. Glimmer Bell. Dark Bargain. I'm gonna make a dark bargain so I don't have to do so many takes anymore. Survivor's Bond. Dranith Healer. Breaking Claws. Hampering Snare. I got the foil of this one. Can I get a retake? I want another foil of this monster, but I can't get it. Blood Curdle, we already got one of those. Can we open up a third pack again? I can't I can't do this. Thwart the enemy? I just am I the enemy? I'm trying to is this pack trying to thwart me? Oh. No, it's not. Look at this. You can't retake this one. Look at this. Full art. Trumpeting Nar. It's pretty cool. Dire tactics. Got the rare land. Bonders Enclave. That's. That's it though? <sighs> Should have. I can't. I can't go keep doing this if I'm gonna get these cards. I need. I need a solid take. What is this? A token? Disappointing. All right, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call the scene there, just because I feel like someone who has to take, who has to be temperamental and take so many takes, has to go through cards so very <laughs> slowly. Um, I was like, how do I push this forward without taking so many takes to hold up the line? Um, cool. Let's go ahead and randomize and assign ourselves. You have a steel plate in your head and pick up radio. That's a fun one. <clears throat> Oops. You guys are just going to see my stream. Um, cool, so we have a steel plate in our head and we pick up radio. That's going to be our next character here. Alright. Gosh. That was um, quite the accident, though. So I actually did get a steel plate in my head. Sometimes I will pick up certain certain uh, frequencies from radio stations that are nearby. You get you get a whole bunch of uh, so many spell either Wolverines. Yeah, you get so many radio stations that are just kind of all over the place. Um, gosh, I don't. Keeps happening. Serrated Scorpion, I just keep. keep kind of tuning out, if you will. Uh, fur to it. 
and Blitz Leech is coming for the crawl. Just watch out for that steal and watch out for the adventurous impulse. <laughs> Am I right, Barbara? Oh, you're so right, Jeb. Oh, I've got a little bit of a boot nipper. You'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if I should have gotten that hemorrhage check, checked out or if I should have gotten the, the steel plate checked out instead. Um, exuberant wolf bear. Oof. And we have another porky parrot. Oh, oh, don't ruin it. No, stop it. Look at this rare. Lutreath spell chaser. That's really cool. <laughs> and we got another rare Broco's Apex of Forever and Thornwood Falls. That's kind of cool. That's nice. I was kind of hoping for a foil of this. Um, I always love the foils of the gold cards in this set. It's just like so pretty, man. And I have, I have a version of that, but it's not a foil. And we just got another token. Cool. Not, well, not bad. All I could think about was. Uh, radio that I'm listening to right now when I was opening that. Um, Alright, now we're going to kind of just cruise through this one. I'm just going to kind of like tell jokes and do my thing. And then we will pick up more games and then maybe I'll be a superhero. Um, or we'll actually do a scene that's around um, around us opening the cards. So we'll like open up the cards and then surround the scene, surround the scene around that. Um, here we go. Also, this is really cool. There's just gold text on the bottom and it's just so nice. Okay, let's get to it. So we have a gust of wind. Also, can I just say, like, all these packs have been super amazing. I don't know if they're actually any good. And maybe when I'm going through the set, I'll actually have a window open that, like, goes through every card and kind of tells me, like, how rare is it, how good is it, like, comparatively speaking across, like, just the whole format. Uh, we have a Ferocious Tigerilla again. We have another Checkpoint Officer. Frostvale Ambush. We have more Deadweight. Uh, Almighty Brushwag, Durable Coil Bug, Honey Mammoth. I could use a Honey Mammoth right now if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, Day Squad Marshall, Keen Sight Mentor, Glowstone Recluse, uh, Duskfang Mentor. Cool. And a rare airy ultimatum. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. Um, we'll read the rares just because it's, you know, we'll, we can do that. Also, I'm so disappointed. That was like my first pack that where I didn't get double, um, like double rares. But these gorilla packs, ah. I love the art on these, they're so, so nice. Cool. How many packs have I gone through? This is like my fifth one? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Nope, six. That makes sense, because there's two rows. Cool. So we have 30 more to go. Dang. Dang. We are cruising. <laughs> Uh, we have a Dranith Stinger again. Imposing Vantasaur. Oh yes, I'm a Vantasaur. Do you, do you want to see my sore? <laughs> I don't think you want to see my sore. <laughs> Startling Development. Frenzied Raptor. Cool. 
Adventurous Impulse again. I keep feeling that the adventures from this these cards are very impulsive. Uh, Whisper Squad, Sudden Spinets, Mutual Destruction, we have a Volca, Volpa Kate, Rat Hair, That's Cat Cool, we have a Magratory Great Horn, That's Kind of Cool, Charge of the Forever Beast, uh, we have a Sanctuary Locked. Down. Oh man, that's bad timing. Cause like England just went back into lockdown. Oh man, I hope this doesn't like Splendor Mare, Umori Collector. Ooh, this is the rare legendary creature. Ooh, is companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type. If this card is your chosen companion, you may cast it once out from outside the game. As Umori, the collector, enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. Very nice. Uh, Bloodfell Caves. Very cool. Um, that's fire. Nope, that's black, actually. And a dinosaur token. Um, but yeah, England just went into lockdown. And I really hope this isn't a segue for me to like go off on like politics. Because um, the day that I'm recording this is the day right after... The election and they still haven't still haven't figured that out to like who has won so yeah and like I feel like this only ha I mean this only happens once every four years anyway so it's like if there is a time to talk about it I guess it would be now so there's like no harm guys if you want to find stores and events wherever you are you can find magic events near me by going to locator.wizards.com. Um, not a sponsor, by the way. Um, but I felt like you all had to know that, just just in case you felt like you were missing out. Um, cool. So, but yeah, it's just the elections going on, and. It's just a jumbly time. It's just yeah, it's just jumbly time for everyone. Um, and I don't know. I'm not like super. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not like super riled up about it, just because I know how our electoral system, our election system works. So, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really, I just don't get fired up like I, I used to. Because um, until we really change the way that we do vote and elect, then nothing's going to really change. But that's okay. All in, all in due time, my dear lads. Um, anyway. Moving on, um, I'm gonna move back into randomizing. We're gonna randomize emotions only. And I'm just gonna kind of do voices based off of that. Um, enthusiastic, cool. So I keep going over to the stream. I don't know why I keep checking the stream because I have the stream right in front of me. Um, thanks for dealing with my noob mistakes, guys. So enthusiastic, and we're gonna have to do a voice surrounding that. Um, I'll have names for these, but I, I'm kind of just building this out. And unfortunately, it's just slower than I expect because I can only really do this like once every few weeks. Um, but I appreciate you folks. So we have a sneer tactician. Tactician. We have a sneer tactician. I was trying to like say it really fast, and I was saying it really fast enthusiastically. Um, perhaps it was going too fast. And then we have a four minds. And Wilt, we have Wilt here. Why? Hello, Wilt. Goodbye, Wilt. Bush meets poacher. Why? What is why? Are they poach poaching bush meat? 
Raking Claws. Holy moly. Look at that. And we have another Hampering Snare. Very cool. Still not foil. Blood Curdle. Nice. Thwart the enemy. We're gonna thwart the enemy. You 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 go thwart the enemy. Pat patted Patagia Tiger. Or maybe it was Patagia. I don't know how you would say that. Heightened reflexes. Oh yeah, super cool. Swallow whole. Just that's eating instructions and magic the gather. Parcel beast, hello. Frill skill mentor. Brokos Apex of Forever. Non-foil. How disappointing. Jungle Hollow. Very nice. I think my favorite part about that was like actually being disappointed, but also being like, yeah. Nice. Um What's the Ooh, not the BRB. What's the next one we got here? Eh. Again. Where are you? There we go. Insecure. Oh, good. That's a good one to have. All right. All right. I'm gonna go up and open up this pack now. Oh gosh. I don't know if I'm any good. Oh. This pack is just so frustrating. Gosh, if only they made those packs easier. Narset of the Ancient Way, an emblem. Whatever, whatever you cast a non-creature spell, this emblem deals two damage to any target. Oh, I didn't ask for an emblem. It's not gonna make me any better. It can never be better. Cathartic Reunion. Gosh, it sounds like all my reunions. Garrison Cat. You're a Garrison Cat. Keep safe. I'm, I don't know if I can ever be safe. Go for blood. I can, can barely get up and go for anything. Dead weight. That's what they used to call me in high school. <laughs> Almighty brushwag. Well, we won't talk about my previous relationships. Durable coil bug. Oh. I don't even know. Honey mammoth. Oh. I don't want to be a honey mammoth. I'll just attract flies. Maybe I am a honey mammoth. Moss coat Goriak. Goriak. I only. What's a Goriak? Boot nipper. That was my nickname in the Marines. Oh man. Weaponize the monsters. I'll weaponize the monsters. Escape protocol. Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Channeled force? What forces are we channeling? I can't. I can't force any channels. Lava brink venturer. Well, that's kind of rare, I guess. So that was my <laughs> insecure bit. I hope I hope you all like that. Um, I mean, extra cringy for the insecurity effect there. All right, let's go ahead and oh, randomize again. <clears throat> Depressed. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. That's like a. It's really like a subconscious. Excuse me, state of being. Man, I got. Please tell me I'm not gonna get the hiccups. That'd be painful. Um, so painful. Oh. 
I don't even wanna open these cards. Oh, this is all so so boy. I was, I was, yeah. Oh, that's my. Oh. Oh, we have an imposing Vantasaur. Everything's imposing nowadays. Why is everything impose me? Unlikely aid. That's just like my life story. Bristling boar. Oh. I'm always bristling in the bushes. Convolute. Just like my dreams. Convoluted. Unexpected fangs. Right in my neck. Essence symbiote. Oh, symbiote later. Raking claws against my back. Dragging me into misery. <laughs> Evolving wilds. Sounds like a fairy tale. I don't even know where to put this one. Oh, bother. Memory leak. It's me all day. Re reptilian reflection. Oh, it's just like me in the mirror. Just looking at that reptile and seeing that reflection. That's me. Leading the stampede. Something I... Wish I could be, could never be, won't be, oh, 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 oh is me, oh, general's enforcer, always, always on that, got classification, rare kitty cat, yay, and then we got this creature foil, oh, helica glider, Helico Glider enters the battlefield. It's cool, I guess. That's cool. And we have a water fire land, swift water cliffs. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that was depressed me. Um, now in the interest of time, we're gonna take a break from our impressions. I guess three. We'll do like a row of it. I guess that's the, that's the moves I'm making here. Um, what is this? We have another... Man, I feel like I've just gotten human soldiers and a Narset, and then that's just been it. I think I just saw something cool, but I don't know. Um, Divine... Hero, Wingfold, Puron, Petron, Petron, Petron. Uh, we have Frenzy, the Raptor. We have Mutual Destruction, how beautiful, fully grown. Vulpakeet. Oh, it's a little winged foxy. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, I'm going to sleeve you. I don't even care if you're uncommon trash. Sorry, common. I wouldn't insult an uncommon card like that. <laughs> My bad. Um, we have the Migratory Great Horn. Very, very cool. Very cool, very nice. Um, Gloom Pangolin. We have a Dreamtail Heron. Full art. I have so many, so many of those. Monstrous Step. This is a small step for wizards of the coast and a monstrous step for the fan base hopefully i don't know how people like the mutate thing regal leosaur that's a pretty cool and common card i'm not gonna lie i really like that we got sanctuary smasher Ooh, yo look at this full art no way oh my god Bro, I just got hooked up. We got a 
foil bitter spit gremlin man i feel like i'm being spoiled with this holy moly what did i do oh oh no it's a different trio i was gonna say still that full art is really cool these are just i'm just lucking out here i'm also going to sleeve that one instantly because i don't know i just feel like like just look at the art on that that's so cool like i love what's the word it's not is it cell shaded i think it's cell shaded i forget but it's really cool just the lining on that beautiful man this is a good box so far, I have not been disappointed. I've been getting all of the cards I, I could have hoped for. Uh, except all these human soldiers. Too many. That's okay. I guess that kind of comes with the uh, tentative connection, if you will. Uh, perimeter Sergeant. Okay. We have a Lurking Dead Eye. Honey Mammoth again. Flycatcher Giraffid, we haven't seen one of you, and you're not an uncommon. That's cool, I guess. Pacifism. Same. We have a non-foil Bitter Spit Gremlin. That's unacceptable. Uh, we have Essence Scatter. Night Squad Commando. Plummet. What? Destroy target creatures. That's dope. That's a great card. And I love the background art on it. It's kind of trippy. I hope there's a foil of that. That would be really cool. A reconnaissance mission. Boneyard Lurker. Zagoth Mamba again. <gasps> we get the little foxy. Zirda the Dawn Waker and the islands. Okay, so I didn't get too rare slash foil slash cool things, so that's okay. I forgive. Just gotta organize. Or like half organize here, and then we'll continue. Alright. Alright, so this is the gorilla one. I have good faith that they're gonna. Oh, come on. That they're gonna deliver on these cards here. Oh, yeah. What are you? Companion. As each game begins, you can place one card with companion here. If your starting deck meets its condition, you may cast it once from here. I don't know what that means. Um, but we have a cat creature. Ooh, kitty, main serval. You get sleeved. We have a glimmer bell. We have another bristling boar. Another essence symbiote. We have a light of hope. Ooh, we got the pretty card, but what is it? Shredded Sails. We have a Facet Reader. Sleeper Dart. It's an artifact. Um, memory Leak again. Yeah. We have a Mystic Subduel. Zenith Flare. Oh, don't spoil it for Papa. Oh, um, Boon of the Wish Giver. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that. No Mystics of Duel. I've seen seen a lot of cards here. I have a foil of the Voracious Great Shark. I don't think I have a foil of this artifact though. I really was hoping to see this would make a great land card and it's not. This is a land card. Which is still kinda cool. I like the planes. The planes, um, cards but i love this artifact card even more this would have been a great land seriously it's like kind of already a land with some of the ones that i've found so far but yeah i don't know it's pretty all right we're gonna keep going here because i'm really trying it's almost 10 p.m like my time and i'm trying to only make this like a two hour thing um, 
so we're gonna kind of speed along and unbox this just a little bit more. And then if we have time at the end, we're gonna <clears throat> gonna do some more games. Ooh, we got more um thingy. Oh shoot, got some more thingy bobbers. Cool. So we have Dran Stinger, Snare ta the Tactician. I think I accidentally put a snare tactician in here somewhere. That's okay. That's what the post stream is for. We have one of a mines. Um, we have a lava serpent. Fully grown. Likely aid. Savai saber tooth. Probably pairs pretty well with that um, artifact that we just pulled. Anticipate. Cloud piercer. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's the four Volpa. Oh, guys, we got the fox bird. We got the full art fox bird. Oh, that's so cool, man. I'm just like, I'm rolling in it, guys. You may be seeing these cards. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously just getting spoiled with Elk Beast. Auspicious star Starix, like auspicious. It's like such a great word to use. Damn, I'm just getting hooked up with the full arts, guys. Necro Panther. Very cool. We have another lava brink, adventurer, and a swamp. Man. Seriously though. I'm like loving this. <laughs> Um, I gotta, I gotta sleep the kitty. Oh yeah, I should probably be reading the rares that I've been getting, huh? <clears throat> I can at least do that. Lava Brink Venturer. As Lava Brink Venturer enters the battlefield, choose odd or even. Zero is even. Lava Brink Venturer has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. Cool. Um, continuing on with our gorilla card. Oh, what is this? Theros. It's a Theros card. Oh, but it's also a cat card. That's cool. I won't be mad with that. Um, got the lava serpent. We have Blade Banish, Exile Target Creature, with Power 4, Greater, nice. Keep Safe, Forbidden Friendship, it's just, well I guess a man and a dinosaur is kind of a forbidden friendship, that's fair. Ram Through, Blitz Leech again, hello, another boot nipper, hello, hello, how are you, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. We have a Fire Prophecy, Adaptive Shimmerer, what is that, a creature insect, and it doesn't have an element, so we're going to put you in the Artifacts token pile, Exuberant Wolf Bear, that's cool, a Majestic Oricorn, Dope Full Art, it's a Goth Crystal, Artifacts, we have a Labyrinth Raptor, it's our rare. Menace. Whenever a creature you control with menace becomes blocked, defending player sacrifices a creature blocking it. This creature you control with menace gets plus one plus zero and the turn. Nice. I am I'm satisfied with that. Hell yeah. Oh man. I was so excited to do this. Okay, so we have a startling development. I don't know what's so startling about development. Ah, oh, I guess some development could be quite startling if you think about it. Forbidden friendship, solid footing. I wish I had my solid footing, but I am still still a novice. Frost links, unlikely aid again. We have wilts. Ah, oh, I like I like the green in that. That'd be such a pretty card. Uh, anticipate. 
we have another cloud piercer <gasps> oh we have another full art oh it kind of feels different too vulpicate hell yeah man they're just like they know how to hook it up weaponize the monsters ominous seas offsprings revenge enchantment at the beginning of combat on your turn exile target red white or black creature card from your graveyard create a token that's a copy of that card except it's one one it gains haste until your next turn nice windscarred crag another red card dang very red heavy i felt like all right what we got human soldier i should have thought should have guessed rather okay Frostvale Ambush. Now, this is a card we haven't seen yet, I believe. Uh, but we have seen the Prickly Marmoset. Oh, spontaneous Flay. Look at the Foxy. Look at the Foxy. So cute. Durable Coil Bug. We've seen you. Bristling Boar. We've seen you. Spring Jaw Drop. We've seen you. Rumbling Rock Slide. We've seen you. Convolute. Mysterious Egg. Oh, we haven't seen that. Quite a bit, I feel like. Corpse churn. Don't think we've seen that one. We have a majestic oricorn. Very majestic. Much wow. Neutralize. Believe that's a good card. It's uncommon, so it's probably probably pretty good. We got Savai Crystal, but it's not all foily. Bonders Enclave again. Lands. Add Diamonds, draw a card, activate this ability only if you control a creature of power 4 or greater. Cool. I dig it. And we have Rugged Highlands, which is a fire and grass. Green. Red and green. I often confuse the colors with the elements. If you didn't didn't notice from the previous episodes. Um, lots of fire lands so though. I'm seeing, seeing the trends. No table required. I'm not. I'm throwing you away. Sorry. I'm throwing you away too. Okay, we have a garrison cat. I believe I have that sleeved already. I try not to double sleeve too many common cards because I feel like it is a waste of a sleeve. I only really want to waste like one sleeve on common cards. Um, but I'll sleeve how many ever freaking rare as there are go for blood we have the whisper squad again <laughs> the whisper squad is back um sudden spinnerets blood curdle again thwart thwarting how many times are we gonna thwart the enemy although i guess that's what every major protagonist has said huh <laughs> heightened reflexes we have Sleeper Dart, which is an artifact. We have a Sprite Dragon. Flame Spill. Cunning Night Bonder. Interesting. Rogrin Tri Trium. Oh, this is the normal lands. Oh man, the other one was super rare then. Whale Shoe. Don't now feel pretty, pretty special there. Nice. Okay. Soldier. Prickly Marmoset. We have a Helica Glider, but it's not super special this time. That's kind of disappointing. But that's okay. I forgive. Capture Sphere. For the lid. Serrated Scorpion. Blister Spit Gremlin. Essence Scatter. That's one we haven't seen. Or Night Squad Commando. Nice. Plummet. I wonder what this looks like. Yo, that's kind of cool. 
I love that. That is a cool concept for your art. I'm not gonna lie. Dranith Healer. That's also new. I think we're actually Ruining Moloch. I think we're actually get Barrier Breach. Let's Mythos Snap Decks. Oh, oh no, I've gotten this one before. Want more. But yeah, I think we're actually starting to um get a different variety of uh, cards. We're getting all the variety of cards, all the possible cards. At least I would hope. Although I haven't seen any of the freaking like Godzilla stuff. I want I want those cards. Those I think are super rare. But we're gonna get them. I feel it in the rest of this. We've gotten so much good stuff. Pyroceratops. Main Serval. Main Serval. Gust of Wind. And we have another Honey Mammoth. Durable Coil Bug. A Full Art Cloud Piercer is going to get sleeved again. Farfinder, what are you? A creature fox or just a just a creature fox? Also, I realize I have everything over here. I apologize. Excavation mole. I almost put you in the, the non-elemental pile. Rogarin crystal. Nice. Polywog symbiote. Dirge bat. I don't have a full art dirge bat. Hello, Dirge Bat. You're also a legendary, so we're going to read you. You are a two whatever two black. And if you want to mutate, it's four whatever then two black. Flash flying. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. And you will have everlasting happiness. Very cool. Nice. A full art rare. Dude, full art rares are actually... I I mean, it's a rare and it's full art, so it's double rare. Duh. That's awesome. That, that was a pretty good pull. I'm happy with that. Let's have like a pile of foils sitting next to me. Ooh, we got a shark. We've gotten a few different sharks with this one. Pyroceratops. That's like, that's literally the last one, last fire card that we drew. Or pulled, rather. That drawing and pulling are different in the world of Magic the Gathering. Blade Banish. Capture Sphere. Don't think we've seen that, man. I get so OCD about like these cards shuffling around. I don't know why. Because they're all just gonna be sorted after plummet Dranth healer these are all ones that we've seen heightened reflexes oh aegis turtle that's new hello unexpected fangs proud wild bonder you're fire green back for more chittering harvester oh i have a full art of this one it's pretty good Ooh, ooh, what is this this is a rare. Er, emergent Ultimatum. Sorcery. Search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You may cast other cards without paying their mana cost. Exile Emergent Ultimatum. Dope. I love that. 10 out of 10. That's that's probably a really good card. It looked like a good card. It had a lot of it had a lot of mana cost, so I'm willing to bet it has a pretty good effect. Um, I could be wrong there. I'm still still learning magic to happen in this. Um, hopefully, I didn't just reveal to you what what the special card was. Um, but yeah, I'm still still learning. I found out that my um, my coworker and mentor plays, so I'm gonna have to do some like deck building and some stuff on stream and like. I don't know. But he plays with the preset stuff. Um, so I feel like that'd be kind of cheating if I didn't use a preset, you know? Because at least that makes it more fair. And it's all about... I guess it's still random. Unless the presets are, are like the exact same presets. And it's strategy at that point. 
Uh, but yeah, that was kind of cool to see. Also, if you're watching this, hi. Hi, Matt. Um, Adventurous Impulse. Boot Nipper. Anticipate. Fire Prophecy. We have another Adaptive Shimmer with nothing. Titanoth Rex. Very cool. Splendor Mare. Nice. Insatiable Hemopho... I still don't know how to say that. Hemopho... Hemophage. Yorian Sky Nomad. Legendary Creature. Bird Serpent. Companion. Your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size. If this card is your chosen companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. Flying. When Yorian enters Battle Exile, any number of other non-land permanents you own and control return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Very cool. Ooh, we have a fly. We have a shiny flycatcher giraffe. Nice, and an island. I'll take a. I'll take a foil card. Thank you. Dang, we still have so much more. This is definitely gonna go over two hours. Well, if for the next box opening you all got you guys want me to play more games, um, <clears throat> we got to reach some subscriber goals and some some follower goals. Human soldier, because um, pretty much the way I plan on doing these two is like, I mean, if there's enough encouragement from the audience, and of course I'm going to break and want to um perform do more funny voices um but yeah do actually take a significantly i mean they just naturally take longer because um pronunciation and also deciding going back and forth with the randomizer is a thing um but i'll be doing games no matter what um i guess i'll just have to plan better next time and schedule more time out I didn't realize how, how long these took um, after all this is, this is my first booster box um, so I'm still still getting the hang of it but thank you guys for for dealing with the growing pains here um, but let's carry on we have of, of One Mind and Lava Serpents again things we've seen Blitz, we, Blitz Leech Wilts Plummets Night Squad Commando. Sometimes I just hope like they'll randomly put a rare card in the middle of these. Like Hampering Snare is such a common card. There's one another another foil. Fight is one. That's an exception. Clash of Titans. And also I go through it because there's sometimes um, just new cards. I've I've been seeing new cards pop up throughout all these openings. It's cool. Um, or at least ones I haven't seen. And I've opened up quite a, quite a fair amount of Akoria before I, I broadcasted it, but Mythos of Broca, Sorcery. If water and... or if blue and black was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card, put that card into your graveyard, and shuffle your library. Return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Very cool. But this Tranquil Cove is even cooler. There's n oh look at there's look at that. It may be hard to see here, but the foil there's there's another emblem on the bottom here. Gosh darn, I'm so infatuated. <laughs> cool. All right. Almost done. Catch new content every day. Oh, Magic has a Twitch channel. I should probably be following them. <laughs> Sorry, Wizards. Um, Frost Links, look at that. An Elemental Cat. You're gonna get sleeved. We have a Ferocious Tigerilla again. Perimeter Sergeant. I don't know what a phase dolphin is, but it sounds like a phase. And we have the Whisper Squad again. Excavation Mole. Suffocating Fumes. 
It sounds like a travesty. Crustacean. Fire prophecy. Will of the All Hunter. The All Hunter for all times, eh? Clash of Titans. Lord Dracus. Look at that. Full art, baby. Lizard Beast. Beautiful. Ozolith, legendary artifact. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, if the Ozolith has, has counters on it, you may move all counters from Ozolith onto the target. Love it. Glowstone Recluse. Oh. Beautiful. I don't know why I put a legendary card in the thing. We got three rare cards with this. Dope. That. That was killer. We got the full art. We got a foil. We got the rare. And it was a foil in common, too. So it wasn't just like a common. Common. I think the full art was a common now, but that's. I'm okay with that, you know? Three special cards is, uh, is a big play in my book. Especially with the imposing Vantasaur. Gust to win. We have another for. I have so many Tigerillas, bro. They're probably like a half penny. They're about to me up. Hey, penny. I want to get a hey, penny. I've looked it up before, but I, uh. But I just didn't go for a fire. Barrier breach. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. We haven't. What is this? It's an uncommon. It's a new fire uncommon. Oh, look at that. We got the human druid. Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. Very cool. So whenever you tap a non land permanent. Sorry, I'm moving around a bit here. Duh. Stupid organizing. Whenever you tap a non land permanent. For mana, add one mana of any type, any of any type that permanent produced. Five whatever mana, green, blue mana. Look at, look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature card from among them into the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Dope. Oh, guys, we got two rares, and it's a foil rare. Bro. And this is ah, oh. dude, I'm sleeping this one because this is this is like one of my favorite rares from the set. Oh no. I'm gonna have a hard time with this one now. No we're not. Hell yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stuff like this gets the express sleeve, if you know what I mean. And you go in the special pile. Man. I think the only way... I think I could still not find like any of the super rare cards and still be okay with what I left off with. Because just the... Like, even in the... Like, the individual booster packs that I bought from just various places... In the Aquarius set too, by the way. Um, I wasn't pulling cards like this. Like I do have a few rare and like special cards, or like you know, you know, special as in like foils or full arts um, from the just single booster packs. But damn, I was not pulling them like this. Spell either Wolverine. I've just been blown away by the pulls I've been getting um honestly I'm also like super stoked to see what I because I also have a Zendikar rising um booster box as well and I think I don't know if it's anything like this it's gonna be so so good um but we'll have to see um but I do hope we'll get some of the Godzilla cards, because that's that's what we're here for in the Akoria set. Here, bub. So you better, better buckle up. Uh, Whirlwind of Thought. Enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. 
As Narset struggled to meditate, tiny dragonlings spiraled around her, conjuring thoughts of ancient clans. Aw, oh, no more cards. That's okay. Bloodfell Caves is cool. We still have... Damn, we still have like... Six? We have eight. This is our eighth to last. That's crazy. Alright, let's find Arrow, Wingfold, Patron, Frenzy the Raptor. Oh shoot, we don't want to put that card there. Shredded Sails. I don't know, you probably can't see it because it's too zoomed in, but I, much like last time, I have a uh, set up with how I stack the cards. They're all categorized by color. Because um, I have a box where I'm categorizing. Ooh, full art, baby. I have a box where I'm categorizing everything also by color. Look at this. Gosh, it's so darn beautiful. Cub Warden. Creature cat mutate. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target. Non-human creature you own, they mutate into the creature on top, plus all the abilities from under it. Lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, create two or one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. That is dope. And I'm pretty sure I have another one too. That would make such a great deck. I think. I don't know. Someone's probably out there like, no, Cabaret is actually a very trash card. I can't believe that you would pick that over uh, the other card. The Akoria set. Fuck you. <laughs> um, maybe they're not like that, though. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> sort of. Dinosaur Beast. Nice. Phase Dolphin. Um, I guess at this point we've seen most of the cards, so I can kind of just talk. I never know if I'm gonna, like, just talk about random stuff, or if I want to, like, pronounce the cards, but I do feel like I've said Divine Eero. I don't know if you can see it. This is the last card I put in the white pile. Um, so chances are I'm good on that front. Work Dead Eye, Convolute. Nice corpse turn. Um, Flycatcher Giraffe, we got a shiny of that. I guess I'm gonna call like shiny cards, like shiny Pokemon, but the foils are actually the shinies. Sonorous Howl Bonder. This one is an uncommon I don't believe we've gotten. Nice black red. Mythos of Luna. Sorcery, a token that's a copy of target permanent if red, green was spent to cast a spell. Um, instead create a token that's a copy of the permanent except the token has when this permanent enters the battlefield if it's a creature it fights up to one target creature you don't control nice I think and a tranquil cove of which we got a shiny of or a foil y'all I just explained what I meant by that so <laughs> we're good it's all good all right, we're down to our last six. I can't believe it. Ultra Pro, Human Soldier. Eventually, I'm gonna be able to not have any of these tokens. I wonder if people would be like, yo, I want your tokens, babe. And I'll be like, oh, why are you calling me babe? It's kind of weird, but you can totally have my tokens. And they'll be like, okay, thanks, babe. And they'll be like, no, I don't know why I said that again. Deadweight, again. Almighty Brushwag again. Ooh, Farfinder. Oh, look the little foxy again. It's the foxy. Coordinated Charge. That's another new one. Excavation Mole. Suffocating Fumes. Primal Empathy. Swallow Hole. Lord Dra Lord Drakis. Is it Drakis or Drakis or... I don't know. I just know that I get a full art of you and you're cool. Extinction event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with the converted mana cost of the chosen value. Zero is even. Nature is more merciless than any hunter I've ever known. Zai, Night Squad Captain. Swiftwater Cliffs. Ooh, this would be a pretty full art and or 
um, foil. I don't know why, but I'm like secretly hoping for lands foil slash full arts now. When I should be hoping for all those super rare big boy cards. Um, Perimeter Sergeant. But we still have... This is the fifth to last, so... We're, uh, and we have a box topper, guys. Hey, Ushinada Music. Thanks for joining. Just going through the rest of the pack here. Been streaming for a while. Um, currently in the middle of a booster box um, of Ikoria. So I've knocked out like how many? Like 30, 31 packs now? This is the 31st pack, I believe. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. And we still got that box topper. I'm so stoked for that. Also, thanks for following Ushinada Music. You're the best. Suffocating fumes. I really appreciate that. Ah. Dreamtail Heron, but it's not a full art. Even though I have like four full arts. Coordinated Charge. A Regal Leosaur again. Yo, that's what's up. Very cool. It's a dinosaur cat. I'm going to sleeve it. Even though it's just an uncommon. <laughs> Titanoth Rex. Dire Tactics. And a Luminous Broad Moth. Flying. Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. Very cool. And then the mountain. Basically, we've gotten some extremely good pulls from this booster box. So I'm really hoping that the last four. Oh no, I was wrong. We have seven more. This is the seventh to last one. Man, I don't know if I just keep counting wrong or if the booster packs just keep multiplying. Um, but <laughs> we have. We have a lot more to go through. Cool. Dang. Cool. That just makes our chances even better. We have a very uh, beautiful 3-3 token beast here. Just going to go into our token pile. All right. Blade Banish. Um, cool. So I guess we have quite a bit here. I was doing, um, earlier I was doing some improv games where I was doing different voices and doing different scenes, um, but I realized that they were taking quite a bit of time. I did like six packs and it had been like 30 minutes and I'm like, I feel like six packs takes like 10 minutes. Um, and I can only stream for so long too, so I was like, dang. Um, but if we hit some follower goals or Cloud Piercer full art again, I love this green orange. Ah, um, but yeah, I was like, I don't know, if there was like ten people here, I'd start asking for like suggestions and stuff like that, and then I'd probably be like, do an impression. Um, although I guess if someone was like, yo. I don't know. Do do a New Yorker. I I do a New Yorker, and I started like, let's start talking, um, in that fashion. So, but feel free. Also, we got a uh, super cool version of this card. Where is it? Yes. Look at that. Oh no! This is the Crystal of Triumph. Well, hey, this is still the cool, the cool card I wanted to show off. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the plan. Rainbow, I know. 
I know, when I pulled that card, I was like, yo, this is so pretty. Dranith Magistrate. Creature, human wizard. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. I don't know what that means in the realm of Magic the Gathering, but I can only assume that maybe that means human casters. I don't know. Cool. Very cool lands. Also, hopefully you can hear the music okay. If not, just let me know. Um, Alright, we're on our sixth to last pack, which I'm... I'm almost certain is the case. Oh, we got the little foxy again. I always get the cutest cards, I feel like. I love it. Spontaneous Flight. I've sleeved that before, and it's a common card. We have a Wingfold Patron. Awesome, cool. Tentative Connection. Uh, we have Solid Footing. How are you, Ushinada Music? What's new? What were you doing? Wilt. We got Blazing Volley. Day Squad Marshall, that's a new one. I feel like we've got so many cards here. It's still not that one. Farfinder, little cute fox again. I got so many, little, so many cute foxies from this. Coordinated Charge. Flourishing Fox. Just playing League. Dope. Love it. I love me some League. Do they still have Earth up or did they close Earth? Is it is it finally over? Archipelago. It's a Leviathan. Yo! Earth is up? Hell yeah. Love it. I assume you probably weren't playing Earth. I was just curious. What were you playing? Were you playing Teamfight Tactics or what? Wingscard Crag. Very cool full art. I know, right? There's a foil of that card and that would have, um, I feel like a foil of Brokos would have been so cool. Flex Ranked. Nice. How'd your ranked games go? Did you, did you win or? Hopefully good. Nice, got a companion. One three lost one. Hey, three to one is really good. Very cool, congrats. Yeah, it is. Nice job, that's awesome. I have not played a ranked game of League in Gosh, I, I don't know. Well, heck yeah. Now what are you up to? Just kind of like chilling in between games or... Also, I have a good feeling that there's a foil card waiting for us at the bottom of this. Blister Spit Gremlin. Yo, Pouncing Shore Shark. Very cool full art. I this is this is definitely gonna be a good one. I've got a shiny card waiting, just you wait. Yo, dope. Well hey, thanks for choosing to chill with me for a bit while you uh kinda log off and take a break. I do appreciate you stopping by. Yes! We did get a freaking foil. A, yeah! Mori the Collector. Um, legendary creature, companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type. If this card is your chosen companion, you may cast it once from the outside of the game. As Zoom Mori the Collector enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. <laughs> And then we have our foil blood curl. Look at that purple. That is so pretty. Man, I'm all about it. Hell yeah. 
and then we have a basic land. I'll take three cool cards in a row. I know, I'm digging it. Now we got, um... This is the last of it. I've got three unopened ones left, and then that's it. But I'm also over my projected time, which is okay. I'm gonna stick it out to the end. And I'm probably gonna stream this weekend, just organizing this entire mess and just kind of going over. Maybe I'll make an actual deck out of all this, because I have enough to make like, I don't know, five decks. I mean, a whole box is a lot of cards. Um, I mean, technically each one of these is its own deck, really. So I can make a color of each deck. Uh, which might be the move here. Especially if I could combine it with some of the older stuff. But I don't know. I wanted to open... Um, I wanted to open some other card packs from different sets. But I feel like I might just save those for like social media. And just do like an Instagram live or something. I haven't decided. I'm definitely going to save Avian Oddity. I haven't seen this one. That's kind of cool. I like the crystals. And we've got a pork, you parrot. Hello, pork, you parrot. How are you doing today? <laughs> we got a foil of this card earlier. Which is really cool with the Yellowstone. Uh, we have a Gem Razor. This would have been a cool foil card. Creature, beast, mutate, one green green. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over or under target non-human creature. And then they mutate into that creature. It's really cool. There's a lot of these cards will mutate into the creature that's on top of them. And then you'll get reach trample whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. But really the cool part about this, oh, it's a shiny full art, dude. And it's the auspicious Star X. Oh my God. I got this earlier, but I don't think it was a shiny full art. Man, this is so cool. This is, this is what it's about. Like full arts are cool, but shiny full arts or foil full arts are cool. I always just call them shiny. I'm, it's like shiny Pokemon. I don't give a, I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, people know what I mean. They're just like, it's just, it's a foil. Foils are shiny, shiny, shiny. Yeah, I get it. Maybe you don't get it. Maybe you should watch. I don't know. I'm just kidding. If you don't get it, I... I'm sorry. Please watch. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna... We're opening it. It's a cool way. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Look at that. Clean. Clean. That is the finest <laughs> booster pack unwrapping ever. But probably not. I'm sure there's like a machine that's just like... <laughs> does it so fast. Oh, we have Glimmer Bell. The Whisper Squad is back. Hello, Whisper Squad. Bye, Whisper Squad. I've made that Whisper Squad joke like three times now. For you, though, it may have appeared to be the first time. For those who torture themselves with two hours of this, they will be like, Wow, I can't believe you used that joke three times. Why am I... And then they just click out. I'm just kidding. Hopefully they don't click... Well, I mean, if you're going to click out, it's probably going to be the first three minutes, not the first three hours, you know? One would assume... As a symbiote, Light of Hope, Will of All Hunter, Savai Thundermane. Look at this cool cat. That's definitely getting a sleeve, even if it's just an uncommon. Ivy Elemental. Enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one. 
For safety reasons, the keeping of houseplants within Ikoria's sanctuaries is heavily discouraged. Interesting. Airy Ultimatum. Yo. Return any per number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. That sounds broken. I feel like half of the cards that I've opened are probably already banned and it's not even been a year. Imagine doing that though. Imagine just being like, ah, oh, you know, I think we're gonna ban like half of the cards we've released this year. Just for fun. Just for lols. Oh, I just have so many foil packages sitting next to Oh, I ruined. There's a shiny in this one. But it's like a good kind of ruined surprise. Because we have a fucking thieving otter. This fucking thieving otter, dude. Keeps going for blood. Rammed through the deck just to go for said blood. Only to find a light of hope at the end. But at the light of hope at the end of the tunnel was just a rumbling rock slide to which we fell down into an ocean, bumped into this awesome Aegis turtle who laid this mysterious egg. To which, when we found a churned corpse off to the side, life and death is all but a thin veil. It appeared to be a thwarted enemy from earlier. So we took a monstrous step to bury the body and respect it. We gave it primal empathy. Man, this is just telling its own story. But the general's enforcer came and put the party to a stop. With his unpredictable cyclone, it was an enchantment. And it went if a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. <sighs> you may cast the, that card without paying its mana cost and put the exiled cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. Cycling two mana, two mana, discard this card, draw a card. That's not confusing at all. And then we have a shiny rooting Moloch. I can't believe it's an uncommon. I got like three of these in the the red themed booster pack. Idge. I'm not sure what it was. It was a cardboard box. I opened it, <clears throat> excuse me, at the beginning of this. All right, this is our last one. This is the special one. This is the box. This is the box that's no more. I'm gonna save it though, because I love boxes. I'm like a cat. I just play in the boxes. All right, this is the last one though. We have a ferocious tiger gorilla. Nice. Oh, you know what though? We still have a box topper after this. So there's that. That's not the that's not the worst way to go about it though, because um, like when you build your own PC, keeping the boxes for the individual parts for like if you move or something is the best way to move a computer like that, especially if you spent a lot of money on it. Um, it's also nice if you just sell stuff too, like even if you're like, oh, I'm not gonna sell this, but you end up selling it. It's nice to have the box. Everyone wants the box with their shit. That's like the best move. I got yelled at for keeping boxes. It's a waste of space. You can't keep the box. It's not just it's a waste of space. And I'm like, shut up. Um, <laughs> don't, <clears throat> don't, uh, man, I'm losing my voice, dude. I don't usually talk for two hours straight. Um, but yeah, I was just like, bro, I'm going to keep the box. I have expensive pieces of metal I paid for and of course I'm gonna keep these boxes. I literally have a piece of plastic and yes it is a waste of space or, or if I'm reading it the way you're spelling it it's a waste of space sir sir 
um, trumpeting Narv. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, if I have a $800 piece of plastic and metal, I'm going to keep shit for it. Like, what? Bastion of Remembrance. That, I haven't had this card. Look at this. Look at the detail. You, like, you have a face, you have more faces. Who did this? Vulcan Baga. That is some dope art. Oh, dude, this last one is going to treat me. We got a Zagoth Triome. Dude, I don't think I have this one either. Hold up. I think I got all the Triomes. I got the Ketria Triome, the Zagoth Triome, and the Rogrin Triome. Dude, I got the three Triomes. I got all three full art land Triomes. And one of them is a foil. Bro, I'm like, hell yeah. And then I got Survivor's Bond in shiny form, which is kind of cute. I like it. And then we scoured Barons, but like, look at this. Look at this sorcery. And that land card is a rare too. So it's a full art rare. So it's a double rare. It's a rare rare. And now we get for the most chill part of the stream where I just sleeve the cards. Or do I sleeve the cards when I organize everything? I'm definitely going to go ahead and sleeve that land card now. But yeah. What do you think? Should I just sleeve cards? when I organize the cards in the next stream or should I just leave the cards now and extend this by like half an hour? <sighs> Organization, that's fair. That's fair. Oh! Nah, I'll probably save it for the organization because I want to play some Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> um, but I am going to open up that box topper because I'm pretty stoked about that. This bad boy. Hell yeah. Hopefully this isn't garbage. Got some box topper goodness right here. Ooh, baby, be a good one. All right, it's a single card. <clears throat> what do we think it is? What do we? Shiny full arts incoming, I hope so. Oh, he's right! Baby Godzilla, bro! Oh, I did! Dude! Dude! Oh! <sighs> Man. So, I don't think you were here when... I, um, I don't think you were here when I explained what this set is. But basically, this set is Wizards, yeah, Wizard of the Coast, um, homage to, like, Godzilla and King Kong and stuff like that. And I hadn't gotten a single Godzilla card. But not only did I get Godzilla, I got Baby Godzilla. And if I am not mistaken, I think Baby Godzilla is, like, one of the top three rarest cards. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, bro. We're gonna look this up. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I use that. They usually use this website. Shout out to MTG Goldfish. Oh. Um.
Oh, is this already priced? Shit. It may have changed. I did get Narsa of the Ancient Way, though. And it's worth a whole whopping 87 cents. Shit. Well, that's disappointing. Shit, man. Unless I searched up the wrong set. Yeah, there's no baby Godzilla in this set. Bro. I'm getting played here. Baby Godzilla. Ruin. Reborn. Sixty-three cents. Twenty-nine dollars. It is, yeah, this is a special unique card. So I'm surprised where it's like Shut up. Fuck you, Google. Two dollars and thirty four cents. It was worth five dollars. Oh, I guess it was worth twenty nine dollars at launch. So it was a rare card, but because these things deflate over time, it's like what happened with that fifty dollar card I had. It was the it was the like number one card. It was the most expensive card, but after like a week or two, it went down to like five dollars. So when this was released, this was the shit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, supply and demand. Either way, I don't care, man, because technically, yes, these Godzilla cards are like the rarest part of the set. Because again, the set is an homage to um. Godzilla and King Kong and stuff like that. Not only that, but it's a shiny full art. Like, holy fuck. Oh, it says Uncommon right there, too. I never saw any, though. I... Uncommon my ass, bro. You tell me that it's uncommon, but all I see is super duper rare. Um... But, I mean, all in all, I'm quite, quite satisfied with my, um, my pulls. Because I'll show you two, like, um, I did get the super special pile. And, like, if we have a Sabai crystal, like, that's a dope one. Oh, wait, hold up. I just realized we're still on Google. Uh, Sabai crystal. We got the fox. Cool full art lands. That awesome one I showed you earlier. Another full art lands. Full art fox. Baby Godzilla. And then I just got like a whole bunch of awesome freaking cards. I did get this card like three times. Um, but it's actually a really cool card. And then this is the, this is apparently one of the more expensive cards from that list we just saw. Um, so I did get one of the, one of the higher priced ones. Where's Momzilla and Pawzilla? I think they're actually in here. I don't know, man. I think there is a Mawpilla, a Pawzilla. There might be, I think there's like a Mecha, Mothra, like, cause it's all the Godzilla villains too. But yeah, man. So many good pulls though, except, I mean, I've got this cat times like a thousand.
But yeah, I was hoping for more Godzilla cards, because I've gotten other booster packs, and... Just nothing. I did get a full art foil of this card. This was a good pull. I think it's actually somewhere... Full art rare. Yeah, man. I definitely got a lot of the good pulls from this box, which is really... Really all I could have hoped for. Yeah, there's the full art foil. So fucking cool. Amazing. So yeah, I definitely made out with this box. But I think it's devalued because of the way that it's set up. But I think that... Some of the boxes will go back up. I don't know, it fluctuates. But I will just have to get the boxes much sooner than later next time. Sell high, buy low, as they say. But cool. I am uh, going to place my cards aside and I'm going to go for the evening. It's been, a, it's been a hell of a card opening, box opening, and... Yeah. Download my video and do some editing and plan it out from here. And then hopefully next time I will schedule more time for more games and actually do more of the voices and impersonations I was doing earlier. But hell yeah. Thanks for joining, man. Um, I'll catch you later. Have a good evening. Bye everyone. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum.